lots of you in New York and everyone's been going, you haven't been to New York? Jeez, it's crazy, everyone's mad. You got amazing buildings, you got nightclubs, you got food, you got everything you want in. You can have it, you love it. Ladies and gentlemen. It's the city of cities, so good they named it twice. So spread the news, we're in New York, New York. New York City, located on the east coast of the United States, grew from a small Dutch settlement to a global metropolis. On this journey, Ian Wright and I, Megan McCormick, visit the five boroughs that make up the self-proclaimed capital of the world. Staten Island, the Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens, and in the center of it all, Manhattan, home to the famous skyline and Central Park. and it's the last remaining great gateway into the city. It was specifically designed to inspire the traveler and to impress upon them that they were about to enter the self-asserted most powerful city on the planet. Illusions of grandeur? Maybe not in this case. And through these doors, New York City. This giant statue represents liberty, throwing off the shackles and holding a beacon to light the world. It became a symbol of hope for thousands of European immigrants who arrived in New York Harbor at the beginning of the century. The statue is one of the world's top tourist sites, attracting more than two million tourists each summer. So be prepared to put up with the crowds. Come early so you don't have to waste the whole day waiting in line. But why did this little island become so powerful? Well, for one thing, you are looking at the most perfect natural harbor in the northeast part of America. How about a little history? Henry Hudson first claimed Manhattan Island for the Dutch East India Company in 1609. And just over there in 1626, Peter Minuit officially bought the island for the Dutch from the local Native Americans for $26 in furs that has got to be the greatest real estate coup in history. There are a few things you can't miss when you come to New York City, and one of those is the Brooklyn Bridge. It was designed as the greatest bridge of its age by John Roebling in 1867. Sadly, John was injured during the survey and died of locked jaw. His son Washington took over, but was paralyzed by the bends in the bridge's deep foundations. His wife, Emily, taught herself higher math and directed the rest of the project while he watched from his bedroom window. that New York is a truly multicultural city, head to the east side of Midtown where there is a patch of land owned by 191 countries, the United Nations. It was founded in 1945 as an effort to avert the disaster of World War II from happening again. You can visit the UN every day and they run tours of the building in the main rooms, including where the General Assembly and the Security Council sit. Wall Street, 
So named because at one point there was an actual wall here built by the Dutch to keep out those pesky British and the Native Americans. Now, however, it's known for something a bit more global. The New York Stock Exchange. Bring me your tired, your poor, your frenzied traders yearning to breathe free. It is electric in here. The market feels like a living, breathing organism. It reacts instinctively to global events, ignoring some and seemingly overreacting to others. People spend their entire lives trying to understand its moods, harness its energies, because basically, in its stability rests the financial stability of the entire world. No pressure. The New York Stock Exchange trades a billion shares a day and has a yearly turnover of $16 trillion. And just around the corner from here at the American Stock Exchange is a man who has seen it all. And I mean, seen it all. The American Stock Exchange is the New York Stock Exchange's younger brother. Central Park covers an area of 843 acres. Construction began in 1840 to give New Yorkers some space by creating the world's biggest village square. Give me uh, some tactics, give me some tips. Don't go down a hill if you can't stop. That's the problem with people uh, here. That's the red light. This is a cool part though, Centre Park. Oh, uh, this is the best. This is where everything goes on. Oh my god, if it doesn't happen here, it doesn't happen nowhere in the world. Heads up! First time coming down the street. Ho! Oh, we light. can do it's it! Red light. Ah! Oh! All right, you're on your own now. Oh. It's my house. What did I tell you? It's his house. If you're into blading, head on down to the Roller Disco. Along with a massive sound system, it's where the real blading experts come to outdo each other. And it's no place for beginners. Away. I got it. Excellent. Thank you so much. This is Museum Hill. On it, there are nine. Yes, nine world class museums along a one mile stretch on the east side of Central Park. It is way too difficult to see them all, so I'm only going to visit the biggest. With over two million works of art, you could spend your whole holiday here.
but it's got a great beach as well. Just go and relax. Forgot my swimmers though. Is there anything New York hasn't got? Thank you.